chat gpt is trained on more than a trillion word let me repeat trillion with over 175 billion connections now according to open ai for a single gpu the training time would take up about 350 years but according to nvidia this gpu inside this one can do this without fans in less than 4 days how the answer is a transformer engine a dedicated piece of hardware designed to speed up training times for ai models like chat gpt this piece of hardware is so in demand that even linus doesn't have it and it's also sold out for the next 6 months so we are going to go through everything you need to know about building your own server for training and inference of your own generative ai models so you must be wondering if this gpu is so difficult to find how did we get it mbba bro naam aise thodi hota hai so jokes apart we recently got to build a server for a company that is doing ai edge computing from space like can you imagine that now this server is going to help satellite imaging upscaling so you can see every tiny detail to find patterns for climate change agriculture infrastructure or simply any global level challenge it's actually insane to think about it but let's get back to earth and talk about why this gpu costs more than 12 lakh rupees hmm. fan mini is ke andar fan alag se kareena hota hai yes you heard me right this is almost eight times more expensive than the 4090 and two times more expensive than the quadro rtx ada lovely c and it doesn't even have any fans why is that because it's a server class gpu which means the fans are already installed in the server and the gpu just come with heat sinks and if you compare this gpu spec for spec with the rtx 4090 and the rtx 6000 ada you will be seeing a lot of similarities i mean on paper the 4090 seems like a no brainer choice but the story changes completely when you look at the benchmarks not only is it insanely faster than consumer grade chips it's also faster than previous data center gpus like the a100 nvidia claims that the 5 to 7x performance improvement is all thanks to the transformer engine but what really is a transformer engine well it's a scheduling system for gpu for training transformer neural network architecture for those of you don't know chat gpt is based on this transformer network now this architecture is the only architecture which we currently use to build generative ai models with over 10 billion or 100 billion parameters but with these many parameters compute becomes really really challenging because for every word that your model will output it has to calculate through the hundreds of billions of parameters this can only be done with parallel processing now gpus having thousands of cores are already good at parallel processing but there are two things that the transformer engine does to significantly speed up training and inference now firstly in inference based on your input it smartly allocates the relevant and most important part of a data set to the fastest memory cache so this is a really amazing gpu for ai right hmm now because nvidia actually calls the gpu the most powerful universal gpu not in the market but on the planet because high performance of the l40s can also be used in video rendering data analysis molecular simulations and maybe just maybe in cyberpunk so do you think that this will even work on a regular pc that is all about the nvidia l40s hope this video helped you in understanding what kind of hardware you should be looking at for hpc applications and if you want to compare this with other hpc solutions like the aws you can check out our blog for that and if you're looking for a similar solution for yourself you can get in touch with our subject matter experts and we can help you build a robust cost effective server solution tailored to your needs